Hi and welcome to Simply Tech. Today I'll be looking at a tool for Samsung NVMe drives called Samsung Magician. Now this is the interface for Samsung Magician. This is the first thing that you see when the program loads. And it's grouped quite neatly and quite easily to be able to differentiate between each of your drives and check the status on them. We've got our drives across the top. It actually is picking up one of the other USB 3 drives that I have, but for this purpose, we'll just look at the Samsung SSD, the 970 EVO 500GB. On the left, we've got some very simple functions. Now, to begin with, we've got the drive dashboard, which allows us a quick overview of where we're at, including looking at the temperature and the refresh rate that uh, shows us how often the temperature changes there. In this case, the temperature is about 33 degrees. Now we can change the refresh rate to 10 minutes, an hour or a day. We can also have a look at the drive details here, which shows us the drive we're looking at. And of course, the type of interface. In this case, we're using a Gen 3 four lane slot. This one is screwed straight into the motherboard. It also tells us what firmware we're using. So in this case, the firmware has been updated. So the drive performs the best it can. Now, the other thing that Samsung Magician does is it tends to classify your files and shows you what is on that particular drive. Now, there are better programs out there, but in this case, let's have a look at how it's classified the information or the files on my drive. So if I have a look at it, it's telling me that I have 22 gigabytes of programs and 41 gigabytes of etc which is okay but doesn't really tell me very much it just breaks the images videos audio and program which is really simple but for the rest i don't know what else is on there the other thing that you can do here is run a performance benchmark now the theoretical limit of this particular drive is four gigabytes per second, and we can run a performance benchmark, which we'll have a look at a little later on, just to see the types of speeds that we can get running different benchmark setups. But this is the type of information that you can change in the setup, including how much data is to be written and the number of times it is to be written, and then it'll obviously have a look at the speeds. You can change all these different settings on here, to play around with the benchmark, but for all intents and purposes, generally the amount of data and the amount of times is what I tend to play around with. So let's change that back. One of the things I like doing is running a diagnostic scan. You don't need to run this all that often, but if you notice that there's a massive drop in speed, you can go in and run a diagnostic scan and then investigate a little bit further. Obviously, for these type of drives, it's good to have trim enabled and deletes data from blocks that are no longer used. And then you can adjust your over provisioning. Now, I think by default, if I remember correctly, this sets the over provisioning to about 10%. I've reduced it slightly there to 8% or 37 gigabytes for this particular drive. And then we have secure arrays. Now, one thing I like about this is that the secure erase allows you or prompts you to create a USB boot disk. So it says in order to perform the secure erase, a USB boot disk must be created. So that's fantastic. And then we have the other two functions there, of PSID revert. Now, in this case, it says the disk we're running OS installed on is not supported for PSID revert. So we'll skip that. And the last thing we have is encrypted drive. So it recommends that that function is obviously disabled. Now you can read a little bit more about this later on, but it says encrypted drive can be switched to ready to enable using Magician then it will be automatically enabled or activated after a clean installation of an operating system. So there's no point turning it on after you have already put your operating system on there. All right, well, let's have a look at the diagnostic scan and exactly how that works. 
Now I'm going to perform a simple diagnostic scan and it's going to be a short scan. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a legend here, prepare, it shows you bad sectors and good sectors and you just start it. Now I'm going to skip through this because I don't want you to watch it all. But as you can see, it's preparing the drive and then it'll go through and test for each sector. In this case, they're all coming up light blue and it says the device is in good condition, which is what we want to see. And I'm also going to run two performance benchmarks. The first one is going to be a much quicker one. I'm going to write 512 megabyte and I'm going to do four times that. So let's start and have a look at the type of speed that we can get. Now I do expect this to be a little bit slower. In this case, we're getting 3,429 megabytes per second in a sequential read and 3,278 megabytes in a sequential write. Now when I change the benchmark here, I'll go through and put it through to the default one gigabyte six times. Let's have a look at it. Now I do expect it to be slightly higher. The great thing is you do have a history there so you can do a comparison. But as we can see the results, 3,564 megabytes per second. So that's about 130 megabytes per second faster. Round about the same in the sequential write. If you like these videos, remember to hit like and subscribe for updates on new content.